What's up everybody, Matt Nuzzo, hanging out here in the backyard at Rio to tell you what the heck is going on with your pressure gauge, okay? So a lot of people are giving us a call being like, my pressure gauge is pump broken. This is a brand new pump here. I've used it probably 10 times, five times. And my pressure gauge is sometimes working, sometimes not. These are not a precision tool, it's a guideline, and there's probably a reason why your pressure gauge is not working. So how a pressure gauge works is that once this thing inflates with air, you put it on the hose there, inflates with air, is that there's a check valve on the inside of that valve. And if there's pressure coming from this side, it's gonna push that valve out, and then when it goes back, it pushes air, just enough air back through that check valve, up through this hose, and to this pressure gauge, at which time it's going to give you a pressure reading. But the distance between this valve and here has to be sealed perfectly right for you to have pressure and it to be showing that valve and be accurate. It's not like the pressure on your car, tire pressure on your car and that pressure gauge. This is an inaccurate pressure gauge. So many times they just don't work because there's some sort of leak or uh, a break to the seal between these two areas, which um, a lot of times hoses kink and will we'll get a crack in it. Or even with this brand new hose, on that wing, it held pressure pretty well. On this wing, which north wing, north uh, pump, it did not hold well. Reality is most of these pumps are the exact same pump manufactured at the exact same place. So it's not the brand of pump. Most pumps will, will work for other things as long as you have the right valve uh, attachment point. But the pressure gauge coming back to this, this thing is that the pressure gauge is not the best way to tell what your wing is pumped up to. The best thing is to do is to see how it's gonna look, how it's gonna feel so that you're at the, at the accurate pressure. If you trust the pressure gauge, it's gonna work some of the times and some of the times it's not gonna work. And it might not work on the same on all your different wing setups. So um, that's kind of how a pressure gauge works. It works on back pressure. If this seal is not perfectly sealed on there, this seal is not perfect and you have no hoses in between, you will not get that back pressure reading exactly precise. So how do you tell if your wing has right pressure or not? So this one here is slightly deflated and you see it's soft. I could squish it to my hand. I can flex the strut and it folds in half, right? That's not gonna work really well because the frame is coming, uh, the rigidity of the frame and your power source is coming from that frame, which needs to be inflated properly, right? So you wanna pump these things up really hard. Most of these pumps are double duty pumps, two action pumps, so up and down stroke. And then when you switch it over to one, you have just the down stroke. So when you pull up, it's not pushing air just when you push down is pushing air. Whereas on the double, up and down is pushing air. So this is high volume for the two, which is gonna fill up most of the wing. And then when you get to the end, switch it over to one to get those really heavy end last pumps. It is really, really, really hard to blow up the bladder in a wing with one of these hand pumps. You can do it, but under inflating is more of a problem than over inflating. If you're using compressor, very easy to blow up these uh, wings because you can't tell how much air is going in there. Now we're coming over here to this Armstrong wing, um, which I did pump up fully. You can see the, the strut is rigid. There's no creasing and there's no flex. When I put there's not like a big fold over and flex. So if you have any of these wrinkles, like you have over here, these wrinkles, or you could squeeze the, the bladders, you wanna make sure that it's really firm when you grab it. And then also when you flex it, that's gonna be the best thing. Flexing that wing tip, because if it's smushing like this, then you're going to have a very, very soft, soft wing. So if you get your new wing and you're going out and pump pumping it up, you got your new pump, you can use these tools to make sure that you know if your wing is properly inflated. The pressure gauge is really only a guide, so never fully trust your pressure gauge because you're probably never gonna have a perfect seal. The older your pump gets, the more it's gonna leak around the seams here or potentially get a crack in it. So there's actually a good chance that your, your pressure gauge might just not ever really work that right. And even here on this, like I was saying, there was a small leak where on the lower volume, it was kind of leaking out somewhere as in the high volume once I got up there. It was holding a pressure for a little bit, but then it would slowly back down. So again, don't trust your pressure gauge. Trust your eyes, trust your intuition. You want your wing not softy like this, but nice and firm like that one. If you have more questions, give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000. Reach out online, realwatersports.com. We'll see you guys on the water.